the overall goal of this procedure is the prediction of RNA secondary structure with single nucleotide resolution. This is accomplished by first chemically modifying the folded RNA with an electrophilic reagent that isolates single-stranded or flexible regions of RNA. The second step is to use reverse transcription to detect sites of the RNA that have been chemically modified. Next, the cDNA products of reverse transcription are fractionated by capillary electrophoresis. The final step is data processing and normalization. Ultimately, RNA structure software is used to predict RNA secondary structure using the pseudo-free energy constraints derived from shape analysis. This method can help answer key questions in the molecular biology field, such as how RNA structure governs the functions of catalytic and non-coding RNAs and how viral RNA genomes regulates the multifunctionality of their genomes. The implications of this technique extends toward therapy and diagnosis of viral diseases or cancer because gaining the insight into RNA secondary structure might aid the design of structure-based drugs. Although this method provides insights into the structure of RNAs produced by in vitro transcription, it can also be applied in vivo since shape reagents are cell permeable. Before starting this procedure, Prepare RNA by in vitro transcription using a commercial transcription kit. RNAs should be stored in TE buffer between minus 20 and minus 80 degrees Celsius in a 0.5 microliter microcentrifuge tube.